na 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 Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to play the touch off of the theme song of the Promised Neverland on the ukulele. So, as you see the intro of the video, I didn't use any cable, which means that you don't have to use the cable because it's already the original key without the cable. Let's not use the cable. And the tuning chord is definitely GCEA. Alright, in terms of the music sheet, I put the link in the description down below So just go ahead to click the link and so you can see the tab sheet for free At the same time, don't forget to watch this video until the end so you can sing and master the song on your ukulele So don't skip any part so you can just practice every single part of this song Let's get started, shall we? So in the intro, I used E minor C D just like this. In terms of the strumming pattern, when you play the E minor, you can do like down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's try it together. I'll play more slowly so you can follow me. One, two, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And right after you finish this phrase, you can sing this part. Ato ikutsu no jiyu wo no 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 no. Yeah, when you play C D. You can just strum down per chord just like this. So in my way, after I strum down per chord, I am touching the four strings in here. So I can make you know make the atmosphere of the song. You know what I mean? Like make the vibe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's try from the E minor C D. I'll sing the lyric so you know that which part I'm playing. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Ato ikutsu no jiyu wo no 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 no. You can play D chord again. But the strumming pattern is different. It's gonna be down up touch. Ato ikutsu no jiyu wo no 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 down up. Yeah, 
So the order of the chord is E minor, D, C, D, E minor, D, C, D, and end with the E minor. As you can see in the music sheet, you can see, right? Because you touch the link and then you download it already. So, yeah. And in terms of the strumming pattern, it's a little bit complicated. So let's play or, I mean, practice step by step. When you play E minor, it's gonna be down, down. And when you go up, you have to move to the D chord. You can just do only down down twice Down down And the D Up 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 down up down up Did you get it? I hope you get it The next part same thing When you play the C chord C chord is exactly same with the E minor So it's gonna be Down down Only down twice Down down And Go to the D. Up, 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 down, up, down, up. Up, 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 down, up, down, up. No, 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 no. So let's play from the E minor again until the second D. One, two, three, four. different from the, what we did in E M N D C D, but yeah, you have to practice. It's easy because yeah, it's easy. I I'll play slowly. Yeah, it's like this. Okay, let's practice together. I'll play more and more slowly. One. Two, three, four. Let's play from until 
question or request for the next video please leave a comment down below and yeah if you like it please give this a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so see you in next video tutorial video bye bye